Rubes. What you doing, buddy? Poor old Rubes. He got beat up. He's been under the weather for about three or four days. He's been uh, hiding away and sleeping. He uh, got in a tangle with a kitty little tougher than him, I think. He was limping and he had a... This side over here was really sore. And he's doing better now. Yep. Yeah. He's getting to be an old man like me. He's starting to get his butt kicked a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, he never was that big to begin with. Yeah, Rubes. Well, I'm in that, uh, working on this bed here. Um, I put some bracing back there and right there. And I put one down there. And uh, that drip I had right there, I pulled that all apart and fixed it. So. Yes, Rubes. Yeah, Rubes. Got a lot to say today, don't you? Yep, yeah, this is kind of his first day out. He was, uh, he's hiding away. He doesn't like being around people, when, or even me, when he's hurt. Maybe he's walking just fine now and stuff. Something got a hold of him and chewed him up pretty good, though. He seems to be all right now. It's not his first rodeo. He thought he was tough when he was younger. Didn't uh, he? Didn't fare well most of the times. <laughs> huh, Rubes? No oh, Rubes, old tough guy here. Huh? Yeah, he seems to be just fine. Ruby dope. Ruby dope. Back to his little weird self. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Hey, good sunny Monday morning. Uh, today I thought I would uh, go ahead and put a decal in this area right here. Um, try to hide this little bit of a discoloration from where the old sticker was. And uh, what I came up with was a, uh, a green decal here. It says diesel powered. Kind of neat looking. I didn't know what to put back here, so I thought this would be as good as anything. But anyway, I, I kind of centered it and I marked a spot right there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get this put down. This is a, um, the way these stickers are made, you've got a uh, outer outer one that, uh, it actually holds the back of the sticker. You can see it, see it on there? And then this is just the backing. So you don't want to peel it all off at once. Just get it started like that. Be real careful that it stays on there and it doesn't pull off. And this is, this is a little bit tacky, this, this uh, piece of white stuff here. But all it's for is just to hold this, the decal in place while you're setting it. And uh, let's see here. I want to put it right about, I think right about there. I'm using an old credit card. Make sure it gets down there flush. Okay, and as we go this direction, we'll just pull this off. And uh, we look pretty level, so I'm just going to start at this end, and I'm just going to work my way this direction and set this uh, the vinyl to the body of the vehicle. Um, you know, first I, I polished this panel first because it was a uh, get all the haze off of it. You know, any any uh, bumps or anything that was in it. Then I washed it real good.
once you're this far, you're committed. So if you're not quite straight or whatever, you're just gonna have to live with it. And, geez, I am not, I'm up a little bit on this side here. But uh, that's just the way it is, and there's nothing I can do about it, so. I don't get any air bubbles, though. Went on there really nice. I got that part of it good. Just stick the card up on an edge, put your thumb against it right here toward the edge there so it doesn't flex much. And just, you know, medium pressure. And just work over this. Make sure there's no problems here. Now's the time to do it when it has the paper over the top of it. If you try to do this after the, uh, this is pulled off, then, uh, you know, if you try to find a little air bubble or something then, it, you could mess up your, your uh, piece of vinyl. Okay. So I'm gonna gently pull this off at an angle here, making sure, I'll do it from this side so you guys can see. Making sure that you don't lift this edge when you come to it. Be patient, just take your time. No air bubbles yet. Everything looks nice and smooth. Well, there it is. What do you guys think of that? I think it looks pretty decent myself. Uh, you know, when I had my body shop, uh, when we'd put decals on, like factory decals, like Tacoma or uh, uh, off-road decals, whatever, we would spray it down with a little mist of water. Then we would use uh, a card and we would push it in and we'd push all that water seemed to get it on there real smooth, but this thing here really went on really nice, and uh, I think that looks pretty darn good. If this uh, this line here starts bugging me a little bit, I could always take a little green pinstripe and go, you know, make a little add additional extra on the on the decal, or I could even use a different color. But uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Tell me what you guys think. Hey guys, I went ahead and put in a plug right here. See it? That's a single 110 outlet that runs off the inverter. And it also has two uh, um, USB ports in it. Really didn't need those, but uh, they just came with it, so I went ahead and used it. But um, right now, that will run when I turn this on right here. See? Now this is on. Here, I'll show you. Now this is running off of the inverter, running right off the batteries. That's pretty cool. What that was was a, um, it was like a desktop uh, accessory, and uh, way back here on the back, right back here, right back here, is two screw holes, which I just screwed into this board here, and uh, then I just plugged it into the inverter. It, just, it had a little extension cord. You can see that running down the back of it there, and it made a really nice little, nice little setup. I'll show you what else I'm doing. 
since I've got these pipes under here um, not leaking, I'm going to go ahead and close that all in there. I put a board right there, across here and up here. And I'm just going to put a piece of thin uh, birch plywood on the front of that so you can't see it. And uh, that should hide that all away. And then if I ever ha need to service that, I can just unscrew the birch plywood off and uh, get to it all. Okay, I just thought you'd like to see that. I'm moving right along here. I'll bring you back when I get this finished. And all this uh, dinking around is eating up my whole day. It's 5.30 now. I've got that panel in. So the pipes are all covered up now. I need to uh, get some uh, some type of urethane over that or possibly some more oil. I'm not sure which. Um, whichever I have some leftover of. But anyway, that's done anyway. And uh, I think I'm going to call it a day for right now. And uh, I'll check and see how long this video is. Maybe it's ready to end too. If not, I will see you in the morning, guys. All right. Bye-bye.